Some North Carolina Central University students are working to rename a building on campus. That's because they say the person it's named after has a problematic and racist past. Now they're hoping to get the attention of not only the school, but the community. Walk on any college campus and you may not think twice or may not even know who buildings are named after. North Carolina Central University students Derek Stanfield and Manu Abebe want the university to think twice about this building. One of the big red flags for me uh, as student body president and a member of the Board of Trustees of Central uh, for this year is that he didn't appoint a single African-American member to the NCCU Board of Trustees. Derek is referring to Angus McClain. He served as North Carolina's governor from 1925 to 1929. McLean Residence Hall on Central's campus is named after him. According to the school's website, it was named in his honor, quote, in recognition of his support and contributions to North Carolina College for Negroes, the school's former name. However, the North Carolina Highway Historical Marker Program writes, quote, much of his drive to improve black institutions in the state was driven by his segregationist beliefs. That's why a lot of our, our goals was just to, number one, take a step back and let people know um, you know, that this is, uh, this building is named after a, a, a segregate, not someone that is, you know, a documented segregationist. Students started a petition recently with hopes of getting McLean's name removed. And, you know, that's why we started this petition to raise awareness, uh, to make sure that the students would have a voice in making sure that, um, you know, their opinions are heard. This comes almost three years after the Board of Trustees voted to change the name of the administration building from Clyde Hoy former U.S. Senator and Governor, to naming it after Dr. James Shepard, NCCU's founder. The Highway Historical Market Program says Hoy was also a segregationist. McLean Residence Hall was one of those buildings that did raise a yellow flag, but at the time, there wasn't enough support um, amongst the student body. And both students say the focus right now is just getting the word out about their efforts. I did reach out to North Carolina Central. I have not heard back.